this band formed in 1990, so that's 23 years ago. And um, we didn't do any demos or anything. We just like practiced a lot and recorded our uh, rehearsal rehearsals, rehearsals. And uh, I started sending take cassettes out. And um, somehow one of these cassettes got to Norway. And the band Emperor, who was on a uh, record label called Candlelight Records, out of the UK, and he in turn sent that tape or a snippet of a song to the record label, saying you should sign it, these guys. So we were signed uh, to Candlelight Records in '93, based on 10 second rehearsal tape, uh, and that's when we got into the business, I guess. When it comes to music, uh, I think it's still pretty weak. There's not a lot of female bands out there. And some of those bands, I think, I think uh, get a lot of recognition because of the fact that they're women, as opposed to whether the music is good or not. Still the whole kind of sexist thing kind of plays along, which uh, is uh, sad, I guess. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of talented music musicians out there with women. Uh, just as many as men, I guess. Just happened to be that metal is still male dominated. You know, maybe it's gonna catch on. I'm not sure. But I, you know, women in the metal scene has our collective support, of course. You know, I certainly don't have anything against it. It's stupid. I'm just gonna pick out like some clothes from from the bay of the bus, and our buses are parked next to each other. And they had these, uh, you know, like the lounge of the bus, you can expand it and make it bigger. So it's like, uh, it comes out on the side, you know. And that was out. And I was, you know, going through my shit. And I stood up and just hit my head on the edge of this thing. And, you know, moved as well. So it's like a, you know. And um, at first I was like, because it, hitting your head hurts. It's one of the most painful things for me. You know, it's like hit, you know, getting your finger stuck somewhere. It's so intense pain. And I was like, ah, and we, we're gonna go on stage in 30 minutes or something like that. I just went on the bus, grabbed a piece of paper and it's like, okay, it's bleeding. Went up and poured some water on my head and I didn't see the gash. Because it's up here, you know. And it wouldn't stop bleeding, you know, it's still, you know, I thought it was just a little thing. But then the uh, paramedics, not the paramedics, but the people like security, you know, there's some ambulance staff when you do shows and they came up and checked me out and they were like, whoa. I was like, what? How are you feeling? Are you dizzy? You know, oh, you're not playing that show. And the guys in the band came over to them and they're like, oh my God. You know, so I was like, okay. It's <laughs> pretty bad but I just got I mean went to the hospital and got some staples it was fine you know so we only cancelled that show I was on the way out there but they stopped me but the freakiest thing about me hitting my head was that uh, rumors started spreading that I, I was dead that I was killed in a car crash in a different city but it was nothing I mean it's just a stupid thing but just because I'm a musician you know, and we're supposed to play, and we have fans that just get escalated. I mean, you know, in the newspapers, in every, like in Sweden, like, rock star and freak accident. And all that happened was that I hit my head because I was taking some underwear. It doesn't make any sense to me. People blame, but, they, you know, people and authorities are blaming the music, especially metal music, for uh, all sorts of bad things for years. I don't think, like, people forget, you know, but this thing, the Tipper Gore thing, that uh, resulted in these advisory stickers, you know, because of filthy lyrics, she said. We even had those on an album like that, the Damnation record, I think. We had, you know, like parental guidance, you know, and the lyrics are, are I like to think beautiful lyrics. Yeah. There's nothing violent or bad about them. I've never really been in a fight myself. If 
I remember. I did actually punch, <laughs> punch a guy in my class one. He knocked the books out of my hand. I punched him. That's my, that's my fun. I had my ass kicked, though. A drunk guy. Open hand slapped me. Subway. Kicked me in the ass. Really hard. I was basically lifted from the ground, you know. And I was so sh I was a bit drunk. I was sh so shocked, you know. And he kicked me, kicked me in the gut too. And then he wandered off. And I was like, oh, no spleen, poor boy. Well, I did become a lot better, you know. Even if I said I had too much wine yesterday, which I did, you know, I still I cut down um, on my drinking, and you know, I'm eat. My eating habits have changed, and I eat on, on specific times every day, or try to which is difficult when you're touring. And I also started playing badminton. I've been playing badminton since, for, for many years now, and squash. Uh, thing is, nobody wants to play with me, so I have to go on my own and just knock, you know, which you can in, in squash. But then I swim and uh, go for walks and uh, the occasional gym, but gy go into the gym, but that's so boring, you know, I don't want to get muscly anyways, you know. Um, so I'd be lying if I'm saying like I'm in perfect shape, you know, I show the man, you know, because I, I like wine and I smoke a cigarette. But I'm way better than I was, way better. People have this, and I think I did too, based on like videos on MTV, how Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi started, you know, boxing, air boxing, and you know, and maybe that's real, but you know, for us, it's nothing like that, we just sit, drink coffee, eat candy, and like an hour before show time, I go into the toilet, stinks of shit, warm up my voice a little bit, I you know, sing white snake songs, basically, and uh, maybe play a little bit guitar, and then we go on. I do transform a little bit. I don't, like, it feels weird to, to, to think of me like I'm stepping into a different personality when I go on stage, but to a certain extent I do. It's more of an overblown personality and I talk, say a lot of stupid things on stage that some people think is funny and off stage I'm not like that. I'm really withdrawn, uh, to, for, bordering on shy and uh, I don't want to be cool, you know, I don't want to be a cool guy right. at all. But on stage, I, you know, I don't know what else to do basically.